when we allow that purpose in our heart to have our mind go places that it should not be. How do we fix that? You know, do we continue to let the devil run rampant in our mind and right. just have to go places? Or do I call my sister and say, you know, I'm having a hard time with this one and I need some help? Pastor, I know I've talked to you and I've talked to you and I've talked to you and I've told you how I feel, but I just can't snap back like I used to. I need extra prayer. If you have time, sister, can you come and visit me and just sit with me a little while and just help me to get over this? break down those walls. Or if I can get in my word, because I've been to the point where I wanted to get that word, and the devil was so hot on me until he would have my handshake, but I couldn't hold the Bible straight. And that's when I went to my phone. I downloaded the Bible app on my phone, and I can click on that chapter and have it read to me.
lady that we wear. Then the shoes of peace. All right. He said, wear those. Peace. Be in peace with everyone. I excuse it. I try to live in peace with her. <laughs>
then what do you do? That next one says, pray. In the spirit. You know, you get to the point where I pray, I pray, and I pray, God, and I tell you what I want, and I tell you what I think, and I tell you what I expect. But then you get to the point to where the Holy Spirit takes over, and he tells you.
wickedness. Because we are God's chosen people. He reminded us after this, you are God's chosen. They don't see you as me. You are not. No. Yeah. 